welcome back to the hobby table the collector's home today we've got our bam firebox now what this is is periodically the uh, bam box they will do a what they call a fire sale and it's pretty much uh, stuff from previous boxes they just kind of piled up into one box and uh, this one was the geek one uh, it comes with a minimum of three autographs each with beckett and it costs the same price as the regular boxes. It was $29.99, so 30 bucks. You're guaranteed at least three autographs within the box, plus a few other little things. Which is not a bad price considering what autographs go for these days, especially Beckett alone. I mean, just... Now, I do know when you go through private signings or even at convention centers like with JSA, if they're on site, it costs about 10 bucks. Uh, private signings, like if you do it online and whatnot, they generally will charge about ten bucks to eight to ten bucks just to get that authentication put on there uh, on your order. So the cost of the authentication alone is in the box. But let's jump in this and see what we got. Now the way things are rolling around in this, this tells me they did not um, package it too well as in the way of uh, material, which is surprising because they usually they do. And actually, they, they didn't have any in there. Oh well. So hopefully everything survived okay. So we're going into a prop right now first. And that is the, it's from the office. And that's a Dwight nameplate. Uh, we have an Adventure Time little figure. And I'm not sure what this is. So we'll go check this out real quick. Now again, this is at thebandbox.com. And they periodically have these about once a year, and they have different ones, horror, uh, the, the uh, geek box, and it's 30 bucks, and you get a variety of items from previous, throughout the previous things. Okay, so that's, if I remember correctly, I think this is from the uh, Netflix uh, sci-fi series, uh, Altered Carbon. This is a cortical stack. I've only seen a few episodes here and there. So, so we got that. All right. So those were like the prop things. We got the Office, Adventure Times, and the um, Alter Carbon TV series, Netflix. So I'm going into the two pins, and that is the Cartman, a little wizard one. Those episodes were always funny when using those. And this, um, I think, was from the ones they had from the um, the New Mutants. I need to get that a little better. Now, one thing is, it does state on here, Volume 5, Box 8. And I do know you go online, even at their website. Uh, also, if you're trying to find what was in that particular box, you can just put in BAM box in, in a Google search and put uh, Volume 5, Box 8, and I'm pretty sure it will come up. So it's an easy search. All right, and we got the little art cards. Now... All the boxes always came with these little art cards, and what they do is they form... Sorry, I'm getting glare off the light there. Uh, they do form multiple ones as you collect them, so each geek box will have a certain series, and they all form together. Sometimes it's about 12 sometimes, and they all come together to one one piece. So you got the three cards, two pins, three prop pieces. Now again, this is only 30 bucks. Uh, this is just a little sticker from them. They're little merchandise things. All right. So this is an art print, which uh, I believe was from the uh, Mad Max. I think it was the most recent one. It's been a while since I've seen that one. It was a pretty good movie. So that's one art print. We got another art print here, which that looks like Ernest Saves Christmas. another art print and that is from Bill and Ted now sometimes on these art prints I do like them because if you like to do like shadow boxing and stuff you, you can do a good background picture if you have little figures you can come up, be creative or well, also what I like to do is take these prints and get them signed a little unique uh, something that's different from the usual stuff that you'll find like if you're at a convention on the tables or if you're buying something in within their pre-sale stuff so that leaves the autographs so we should have three, one, two, and three. Yes, there are three in here. 
So, going straight to the first one, that's from the Outsiders, that is C. Thomas Howe, Oops. and of course it is Beckett, Beckett, awesome, awesome. Now I do know for a fact, uh, if you follow our Facebook page, you do know that uh, once a week I do updates on uh, various businesses that do signings, and C. Thomas Howe is on one of them, and I believe the going price is about $60, and also a convention up in Pennsylvania. Uh, I just morning quickly glanced over their price list and see Thomas Howell is also in there and that's about $40 I think it was charging. So this box is 30 so less than just getting his autograph. And it's Beckett. So, and through those services, that uh, certification, like Beckett or JSA, would cost more. Uh, next one, ooh, that is um, Dante... Uh, Basco from Hook. He played uh, Rufio right up in there. Now, they they do have this one in their top loaders here. I don't like these top loaders. Actually, it says brought to you by Bam because people have been a lot of problems getting them out because lots of, top loaders are supposed to slide right out, but these ones don't come out too well. A lot of times you do have to break them open. And also, eh, it's no big deal though, but I guess when they're putting it in, I don't know if you can see that little white nick there, it folded the corner I guess when they're putting it in because it's such a tight fit. So putting it in actually did some very, very, very minor damage to a corner, which you know a lot of times that's no big deal because when you mount it and everything, you know, you're going to see that corner because you do want to mount with a, um, you know, with a mat because you don't want them flat on glass or anything because sometimes that signature will press up against it and it could ruin it. I've seen some people take picture the glass off and actually have an imprint on the inside of the glass. And this one, I'm not sure which movie that was from. Uh, I believe this was Paul Silvano. Silvino? Names has never been my strong point. Hmm. Three autographs, Beckett, thirty dollars. So you got uh, six, three, three autographs, three art prints, three art cards, two pins, uh, three props. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen items for thirty bucks. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. So if you think about that. So I do like these because they are a good start. Even the regular boxes at $30, you get one autograph, uh, a prop, a little pin piece, uh, a pin, uh, art print, pin, a prop, and an autograph. So a minimum of four for 30 bucks. That comes, you know, great price. Can't go wrong. So that's what we got on this one, guys. That was the BAM fire sale box. Excuse me for the little slowness here and everything. It's been a long week trying to get caught up. A lot of computer issues and everything. But we're up and running again. Okay, so that's what we got. Do follow us here soon. We are. We do have the Space and Beyond box opening coming up. Now that is for your space enthusiasts. And it is going to be representing Jupiter. So it should be full of Jupiter products. So thanks a lot, guys. And again, that's the BAMbox.com. For the regular stuff, they do have a variety of horror, uh, the geek, the an anime. Uh, they even came up with a comic one that actually will have an encased comic. Uh, and all the prices do start at $29.99 and, and up. They, some of them will cost a little bit more. So you can't go wrong with the price. It's a monthly subscription, so you do get a box like not like this, but with at least four or five items, one autograph, Beckett, once a month. Great way to get started if you're into the autograph, if you don't mind these little prop things and everything else like that. So, and some of them have been pretty cool. And like I said, if you're really, and if you don't like these, just follow the Facebook community. And I'm pretty sure if you post it up, they have a buy, sell, and trade. Other people who do like them are looking for them who may have missed a box or just want some extra ones. And you can post it on there and, you know, and you can get rid of it very easily. So thanks a lot, guys. And we're going to jump into the next one here shortly. And we'll see you then. If you know of a business that you're curious about and would like us to check out, or if you have a business that you know of is really good and like to pass the word on, send it to us at info at thehobbytable.com. Again, that's info at thehobbytable.com.